Guys, if you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K20 MT, go to Safe NBA MT for fast delivery and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. If you need to go 12 or no, complete spotlight challenges or spotlight sim challenges, domination, evolve cards, and more things like that, go ahead and contact Rose NBA on Twitter right now. Link for that is in the description. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K20. In this video, we have another price pack pack opening that we're going to be doing. We're going to be opening up some packs that I got from locker codes, from triple thread boards. Going to be opening up some more Luca packs. Going to go to the token market and open up some of those packs as well. So a bunch of packs are about to be open, guys. So make sure you drop a like right now, and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new. With that notification bell turned on, so you never miss out on any videos like this. It's been a bit of a high demand lately. You guys have really wanted to see more of these. Um, these are mainly from locker codes. It's flash packs from a code, and these two packs are from codes as well. That's a contract pack. That's a league pack. We're not going to open up them. We're not going to worry about it. We do have some diamond packs as well. Starting it off with a spotlight Kevin Garnett pack. It's going to be a ruby. It's going to be West Rock. It's not from the set, but that's all good. But um, yeah, I've had a lot of people wanting to see another one of these. I try and make them as long as I can. I haven't really had the patience to really grind packs lately. Because um, obviously it takes a lot of triple threat to get a decent amount of packs. We get a Greg Popovich right there. We'll take that. I don't actually have a diamond coach, so might even use him. I don't think he's the best coach, but he's pretty nice still. Um, that was actually a lock code as well, and I think this might be as well. It's gonna be a contract. I'm just gonna sell that for the MT, but um, we got some nice packs with that flash pack, a T-Mac pack, and a New Year's Resolution Deluxe pack. I mean, the best possible card we could get from here is obviously going to be a Gilbert Arenas, but we're going to get hooked up with a Ruby Sean Livingston. A little bit of a letdown. Um, we'll open up. Let's go T Mac. Let's see what's in this T Mac pack. The Pink Diamond T Mac actually has solid value still, and we actually got an Amethyst card. So I think that's Carlos Boozer Magic. Small forward. I don't know. It's Vince Carter. I don't know, man. Grand Hill. Uh, we get a Ruby Grand Hill right there. I did not remember the um, VIP players from Prime Series 1 team out. I just could not remember those, but um, pretty nice to actually get a, a Amethyst from that. We've got a Flash Pack right here. This wasn't a lock code, actually. This was a daily login reward. Ooh, what an L. Luckily, though, we have a lot more packs to open. We'll go into, we'll go into the pack market. Now, I've got 180K M uh, VC to spend on these Luca packs. The reason I still have so much MT is because when I did my original pack opening, when these came out, I pulled Opal, Luca, and Trey within all, both of them in one box. So, oh, let's go. Big diamond in the, that's gonna be Dino, or whatever his name is, Dino or Dino, I don't know how it's pronounced. I never heard of this man before this card came out, to be honest, but um, Pink Diamond in the first pack, that's nice. But the thing with these odds, I've seen a lot of people like True Dan open up a ton of these packs and not get much love. Not get much love at all, but we do get a pink diamond, which is nice. Yo! These showed a lot of love to me when I first opened them. I opened them like as soon as content dropped, so I don't know if odds were like more juiced then. I don't think that's how it works, but I mean, so far these packs have definitely shown me quite a lot of love. It is dope to get a pink diamond pull so early. I would love to pull an, another Opal. A Luca would be amazing, or a Chris Stapps, but I mean, I, if it's Trey, I wouldn't really, wouldn't really mind either. Obviously, I'd just rather Luca or, or Chris Stapps because they cost more. But we've already pulled a Pink Diamond and a Diamond within the first seven packs. So it's been pretty solid so far. And we'll go to the token market as well, like I said, and I'll probably just spend all of my tokens on the Frostbite players, Frostbite packs, just because they, um, if you are lucky enough to pull one of those cards, they just sell for a lot more. But we're over halfway through. We should be able to open up some singles as well after this. Can we clutch an opal in the box though? This would be a really juiced box. If we get an, if we get a diamond, pink diamond, and an opal, all in the one box, they've really dried out though. After those first nice couple packs we got. 
Come on, show me a, show me an Opal, show me a Luca. I do have Luca and KP on the squad. We're gonna get an Emidus, which is just gonna be a waste of time, but yeah, I do have Luca and KP. They are both two amazing cards, and I will consider locking in the set, Prime Series 3 set, if it's a decent card. Like, it's gotta be, like last year when they dropped Galaxy Opal Shack, like, that was the best center in the game. So it's like, I've got no problems locking it in then. So if they can make another really overpowered reward, then I'm more than happy to lock that set in. But that box right there, best thing was the pink diamond pool. 40K left to spend on some singles. Might be able to clutch a single. These might have some nice odds, who knows? Who knows? Oh, not, not the first one, not the first one, but we'll open a couple of these. But I, I, I do like making these videos, probably more so when I have more prize packs because you can make so much MT. Like I've made a ton of MT. Like every time I make one of these videos, like we've already got that pink diamond pool, which was nice. So, you know, we're gonna be making a decent amount of MT. That was spent with VC, so it sort of cancels out. But, you know, from the prize packs, we did pull a diamond contract, which we'll be able to sell for. They normally sell for around 15K. That's normally as low as they get, so. We'll take that, happy with that. I mean, I don't think that dude's got value. He seems to be pretty common. Quick selling for a thousand with no tax is probably smarter, or at least quicker. Can we clutch something that we've got 30K left, which is a few more packs still. Yeah, I wanna see an opal pool. I really do wanna see an opal pool. That would be clean, 23K left. We've got a couple more packs. Come on, Luca. I know I already got you, but I want that MT. You know I'm trying to get that MT right now. Second last pack. Can we clutch something? Give me an opal, opal, opal. If we can clutch an opal on this final pack, that's actually gonna be crazy. But can we sort of will it into existence is the question. Come on, I'm feeling it. Bronze, nope. Hopefully, I mean we have got a pink diamond. I'm happy with a pink diamond. Um, but we are gonna go over to the token market now and see if we can get another pink diamond. I have 142 tokens. Um, I do not collect. I do not collect um, to tokens for players anymore. Like it ain't worth it in my opinion. We can only open up like four of these or something, which isn't bad. We get a ruby. I normally get rubies, but pink diamonds are in here. We've done it before. We have pulled a pink diamond Magic Johnson in here before, so. Let's see what happens. I would rather an AD. He's got some crazy value. I think he sells for around, I think it's around 200K, that pink diamond AD, because that's the best AD you can get, really. I mean, not many people can get that Galaxy Opal one. That Opal one is crazy, but I had used the pink diamond. When he first came out, I used the pink diamond Anthony Davis, and he's insane. He's freaking insane. Pink diamond, no, Amethyst. I cannot remember the Amethyst plays. I have no idea, Kings. Bro, I got nothing. Shooting guard from the Kings. All I can think of is like Buddy Healed. It's going to be Kenya Martin. That's right, Kevin Martin. That's right. He's an Evo to Diamond, which is actually a, a solid card. That's actually, I don't know, I might even consider that for the no money spent account. Because that would be actually a somewhat decent card to have. Because he can definitely shoot. This is going to be the final pack. Can we pull a pink diamond? Gold. Yeah, the rubies in here are hella common. But. I mean, I can just never be mad because we've pulled a pink diamond from these. I can never be mad at these packs. These lights out packs are only six tokens each. Only six. So let's see if we can pick up like a diamond KD. I can only imagine that this collection set is cheap because the fact that it's for pink diamond Clay Thompson when you can just buy a Clay Thompson off the auction. We get a ruby though. We do get a nice jersey. It might have a little bit of value. I better send that to the auction just in case it sells for like 2K and I didn't realize. We got one more pack to open. Show me Durant or Page. Actually, Page was in a locker code, so that just destroyed his value. Yo, is this Durant? I think it might be, bro. I think it might be. Yo, we pulled the cage. I don't know his value, but that's actually a dub though. Drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel to give yourself some pack luck. That's actually a really nice pull. That's He used to be hella expensive. I don't know his value now, but definitely sending him to the auction to find out what he does sell for. 
we'll send everything to the auction and just see what it sells for. So I've sent this stuff to the auction. This is the main, you know, we got this pink diamond and these two diamonds plus a diamond contract. So we're gonna find out what they all sell for. We'll check out that, that Dino guy. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but if he's over 100K, massive dub, but I doubt it. 50K would be solid if we could pick him up for that. If he's just sort of float, if that's what his price is sort of floating around. He's gonna be under 50, I would assume. So we can sell this pink diamond for 39K, which is solid. It's solid. I have opened up a couple singles off camera with MT. I've always got that freaking urge of wanting to do that. So that'll make us a little bit of that MT back, but I'm interested on this KD's price. We can sell him for 20,000, which is actually, it, that's not bad, man. That's not bad. I mean, obviously what destroyed this value, like the collection set that he's in, obviously isn't gonna sell for a lot because they dropped a, they dropped a diamond, a pink diamond, Clay Thompson in packs. So there's literally no point completing that collection set. So that's what sort of just would have destroyed his value a little bit. Plus we obviously have Galaxy Opal KD, um, a pink diamond, Kevin Durant. And they did drop the series two diamond KD, but that card is, it is freaking ass, man. It sucks. I don't know why you'd use that card. We can sell that contract for 12K, which isn't as much as I was hoping for, but including the contract, the KD and that pink diamond, we're gonna make like 70K, which is nice. That's a nice little boost to have in MT. We still have that other diamond, dude. I can't imagine Sharif sells for a lot. He actually sells for 7,000, which is surprising. I'm gonna put him at four, we're at 12 hours because I'm not gonna jump on this PlayStation anymore. Um, he's, he sells for 7K, which is actually pretty expensive for a diamond, but I mean, he can shoot threes. If a car can shoot threes, people want it. But that's gonna wrap up this prize pack. Pack opening, guys, pretty successful. No Opal pull, unfortunately. We did pull an Opal in the last one, I think, which was dope. This one right here, though, still a pink diamond, couple of diamonds. Um, we're gonna make some MT, that's for sure. But I hope you guys all did enjoy it. Again, go ahead and drop a like right now. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new with that notification bell turned on. Shout out at the video goes to SWX Kylo. Shout out to you, bro. You say you're a big fan. I really do appreciate that. But I'll catch you on the next upload. It's been witnessed.